Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, no, don't worry about things like that. That's okay, man. You, you hear those sounds. So my daughter, Addie, is uh, shooting for me because I got a big thing today. You want to show them the big thing? You see this? This is a yard waste bag, but it's not full of yard waste. It's full of VHS. So this video is especially for Josh and Caitlin, uh, and a little bit for Josh's mom and dad, because Josh's mom and dad have a neighbor who are going to throw this all away. They were just going to throw this whole thing just in the garbage. Whoop. And Josh's dad was like, no way, man. Josh has a friend who collects that garbage. So don't throw that garbage in the garbage. Take that garbage to his friend's house. So Josh and Caitlin brought it to random dad. Now, you could totally tell I, uh, as I was packing this bag up to carry it down here and almost threw my old man back out. You could totally tell. This was a dad's collection, right? Like a dad from the greatest generation. Like my parents' age, Steph's parents' age, your grandparents' age, Addy. Because it's all war, western, mobster stuff, and a couple cool gems in this bag. So, as a thank you to Josh and Caitlin, I'm going to go through this entire bag. If you don't want to sit around, then just stop the video now. Although, I don't understand why. All right, so, oh, and we're going to make stacks, all right? So we'll go do a war stack, a western stack, and then a weird stack, right? Okay, so a lot of these I do have, but there's some gems in here I don't have. Here we go. We got Patton. Oh, we got Dr. Strangelove. Don't think I have this cover yet, so that'll be cool. We have None But the Brave. Never heard of it. Some of these I will be passing on to other people. War movie, Battle of the Bulge. See, I told you. Uh, McKenna's Gold, Western. Where Eagles there. Oh, now see, this one is going in my Clint Eastwood collection. I've got a whole Clint Eastwood collection out there. I don't have this one yet. So we set that one to the side for Clint Eastwood collection. Uh, this is Burt Reynolds, the man who loved cat dancing. That's a cool cover. All right. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to separate. That's a Western. All right, Western. We got, we have Helen, The Flight of the Phoenix, war movie. We have Midway, war movie. Right. We have, there was a crooked man, and that is a weird, it's a western. It's a cool cover, man, so uh, I'm going to be checking that one out. Plus, it's got, you know, awesome actors in it. Actually, all these movies, you know, have pretty, uh, now this one, check this one out. The Land That Time Forgot. I've always wanted to see this movie. I never have, and I love old sci-fi kind of stuff like this. So um, that one goes in the collection for sure. Some of these others, I'm going to go through. and I, Oh, one of my all-time favorite uh, war movies is Glory. This one is like Glory and the True Story. So I've got the regular Glory, which I'll be getting rid of. But look at this. It's got the movie itself and then the actual documentary behind the story of glory which is rad so that goes there if i know for sure it's going in my collection i put it over here uh the bridge at regimen regimen oh war movie oh, oh, oh boy here we go von ryan's express war movie here tilt it down here look at this see all those war movies a little bit of western like i said dad a dad collection this one here, Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. Um, this just looks cool, man. I don't know. It's some kind of fantasy thing, so totally going to check that one out. Put that in the oddball stack. Uh, the Professionals. That's a Lee Marvin, Jack Palance movie there, man. That's a Western. I think I might have The Professionals, actually. Tombstone. I totally got that one. What a great Western that is. Um, yeah, we're going to have to dive into this bag eventually. Here we go. We'll speed things up. Oh, Bonnie and Clyde. Definitely don't have that. Uh, the Wackiest Ship in the Army. Uh, Jack Lemon and Ricky Nelson. That bears a watch. Uh, the Big Red One. This has Mark Hamill in it. War movie with Mark Hamill. Never seen it, so I will be uh, checking that one out. Lee Marvin again. You know Lee Marvin. man. He's a St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Nice. So we got a gangster drama. Like I said, war, western, mobster stuff. Mobster stuff. Um, 
one of the worst movies ever, right? Uh, for those of you who have seen it and those of you who haven't, you can completely skip Godfather Part 3. Uh, I'm sure everybody in it wished they would have. In fact, um, what's what's his name? Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm drawing a blank here. Hold on just a second. Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia should have won an Academy Award for pretending that he was head over heels in love with the girl in it. I think it was Coppola's daughter, actually. Oh, my God. It was so terrible. Okay. Uh, mobster stuff. Um, oh, check this out. Look at this. Warner Brothers, Jimi Hendrix. I love the big box clamshells. In fact, can you swing it around over there into the corner? Here, you might have to get up. Get up and go into the corner over there. See? Down at the bottom, those bottom two shelves. I collect clamshell, large size. Uh, the Warner big clam. So, totally getting that. Witness to the mob. Mob movie. Oy, what's in this bag? The Battle of Britain. War movie. Oh, um, I also collect Charles Bronson movies. And this is Charles Bronson and Jack Palance. Chato's Land. Chato's Land. Um, half naked. Charles Bronson. Going in the Charles Bronson collection. The Terminal. Now, normally I would not watch this movie. Uh, because, you know, romantic comedy is not my thing. But... Tilt the camera up there, please, to the top shelf. I have a big old Tom Hanks collection. So this goes in the Tom Hanks collection. Charles Bronson, White Buffalo. Don't have that one yet. Uh, Dustin Hoffman and Little Big Man. Okay, that's I've heard of that one. Uh, pretty sure it'd be pretty good. More Lee Marvin. Man, this dude was a big Lee Marvin fan. Hell in the Pacific. Another uh, war movie. Shawshank Redemption. An excellent one. I mean, everyone knows that one's excellent. And we put that with mobsters because, you know, crime and all that stuff. Not really. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, do you see this movie? I have had it for years on Laserdisc, but I don't own a Laserdisc player. It's like these people go back in time to hunt down Jack the Ripper or something. Plus, it's got an awesome cover. And then, and but I don't have a Laserdisc player, so I can't watch it. Now, I can watch this bad boy. Yoink! All right. Now, this is one of my all-time... Favorite sci-fi movies, First Men in the Moon. I watched it many times in college. Um, I bar I like checked out the uh, the tape from uh, the library, and at the time it was like super expensive. And this is like completely wacky. These dudes like go they go into the moon. All right, the first people in the moon, and it's like a whole whacked out Ray Harryhausen world in the moon. So I am so happy to have this. I mean, I'm sure it's on DVD for like five bucks now, but you know, uh, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, all right. War movie, pool, <laughs> the master's way. I don't play pool. So, <laughs> one steals, one kills, one dies. This one looks to be Western. Wait, that's Jack Nicholson. What? That's weird, man. Look at that. That's Jack Nicholson down there. All right. Um, oh, here we go. The Occult History of the Third Reich. Ooh, Wiggy, the Occult History. That one I actually might check out. All right. Not a fan of Nazis. Oh, well, speaking of Nazis. There's Schindler's List. All right. Which, I've got that one. All right, we're doing, ooh, check this one out. Another Warner big box. This one's got Harrison Ford, Force 10 from Navarone. Never seen it. Uh, yeah, okay. So, got to keep that one. That goes in the big box collection. All right. Dig down in here. I told y'all this was a long one. All right. Uh, Robert Redford, Jeremiah Johnson. I think I have this one, but, you know, I'll check it out. Western. The Blue Max. Oh, war movie. That's uh, George Papard. Uh, Buck and the Preacher. Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte. Western. Never heard of that one. So there's a lot of stuff I never heard of in here. And I got a whole Western uh, collection out there. I've got a whole war collection. So this is really going to beef those up. The Sea Wolves. Heard of it. Never seen it. So Gregory Peck. Roger Moore. Come on, man. You get James Bond in a war movie? That's rad. Goodfellas. That goes in the mob section, right? All right. The Battle of Britain. What? Oh, that must be a different version of the same movie. The Boot, or The Boat, formerly Das Boot. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a remake or if they just switched up the name so, you know, Americans would understand what it was. Oh, my goodness. It just, I mean, we're halfway through the bag, dude. Halfway through the bag. So, Josh, you're probably... You and Caitlin are probably the only two people who are going to watch this whole video. This will probably be my lowest video watch ever. Although I've got some that are like really low. You know, I thought, wow, man, this is going to go really well. People are going to love it. No, like my Pennywise one from like two years ago, like 30 people watch that thing. Your arms are getting tired, aren't they? 
Same with Private Ryan. War. Stalag 17. War. Ooh, that's got William Holden in it. Look how big this war stack's getting, peoples. Memphis Bell. Excellent one. I got that one. Uh, from noon till three. Huh? Don't care what it is. Charles Bronson goes in the Charles Bronson collection. Tora, Tora, Tora! I've seen this one. It's rad. I don't have it, though. So, you know. <gasps> More Charles Bronson. Heartbreak Pass. Don't know. I'm going to have to fix this one up a little, but... Ooh, my Charles Bronson collection. Got a shot in the arm. All right, Godfather Part 2. I will assume Part 1 is in here somewhere. But you know what they say about assumptions. Makes a donkey of me and a donkey of you. The Train, Burt Lancaster. This one, what is this, a modern thriller? Oh, so it's not even war or western. Maybe it is a war movie. I don't know. I'm going to toss it into war. He's blowing stuff up. Uh, Mobsters, excellent flick, I think. I mean, you know. It's kind of a... Oh, hey! <laughs> and then here's Das Boot, the director's cut, the real deal. So, um, it'd be kind of interesting to see if there's any difference between this and the boat. This stack is going to fall. Going south. I used to have this. I don't think I have it anymore. Someone sneaking up behind me. Yeah! I heard you guys. All right. Uh, what's this? The Long, Long Trailer. <laughs> a Lucille Ball. What? Ooh, slap happy. Okay, that's all for me, man. Well, hello back there. Wait a minute. This guy had two copies of Godfather. Oh, sweet. This is in the box. I don't have the box. So if nothing else, I'll be keeping the box, right? Okay. Uh, Mom actually doesn't like you guys on film because she thinks it's weird. So I'm not allowed to put the kids on film, right? Uh, ooh, hello. Journey to the Center of the Earth. I have a different version of this cover, so I will probably keep this because I really like that movie. More Charles Bronson, Death Hunt with Lee Marvin, Charles Bronson Collection. I really should just call that section, like, the badass section. You know, it's got Bronson, it's got Clint Eastwood, it's got Schwarzenegger, it's got Stallone. They've all got their own... Oh my gosh, look at this. Come here, come here, bring it in here. Look at it, people. Seriously, this, like, filled up Josh's entire trunk. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, my butt's getting sore in this chair. Here we go, Cat Baloo. I have that one. Uh, what do we got here? Learn from the best. Improve your pool game. So this dude must have been really into pool, man. Uh, the Scalp Hunters. Wow. Oh, I'm sure that's a politically correct movie. Probably not. Uh, Stalin. Robert Duvall. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. That one's about to fall. All right, stop. All right, now we're going to need to make a double stack of war. Good Lord, man. This man was a war nut. Hunting. Don't care. Witness to the mob. What? Two of them? Maybe this is... Oh, part two. So, looks like it's a two-parter. All right, here we go. Arizona. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta take a sip of Le Coffee. Mmm. Not a bad way to spend a Memorial Day weekend, you know, going through movies. Five weeks in a balloon. <gasps> Jules Verne. Oh, sweet. Never seen it. Don't have it. Boom. All right. Uh, oh my gosh, Ted Nugent, Spirit of the Wild. Yeah, no, thank you. I got like one Ted Nugent album, and that's more than enough. Death and Taxes. That is just a freaking cool cover. Oh, it's a documentary. Okay, put that in the oddball stack. Hope and Glory, World at War and a Boy at Play, The Mountain Man. What the heck? That's like westerny kind of. All right, we're starting the next stack of war movies. Uh-oh. I think your mom wanted that. Ah, well. We'll get some more today, right? All right, man. Oh, there's some DVDs in here. I don't really collect Western DVDs, but... Oh, this is uh, the Trinity Collection. I might actually have to check that out. Um, okay, that's cool. Put it with the Westerns. Uh, oh, look at this. Very good. The Wild Bunch. Ooh, I don't have that... Uh, I don't have that cover. I think I'll keep that one for sure, just because I like to have various covers of movies I really like. Uh, oh, Jurassic Park 1 and 2. Uh, put those in the oddball. Of course, I got those, right? Of course. Robin Hood. I used to watch this all the time as a kid, and I don't think I have this one anymore. So, that's definitely a keeper. What we got here? Sink the Bismarck. 20, ooh, 20,000 Leagues. Sink the Bismarck. That's a war right there. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It's a bit beat up, and I might have this already, but uh, I am a sucker for Jules Verne stuff. So, if nothing else... 
I'll have like a really sweet Jules Verne collection. This will be easy. I am not going to stick my head in here and dive down in there because there is like some nasty stuff in there when I grab this bag. All right. You see this? I mean, seriously. We got three more bags to go, peoples. All right. Valdez is coming. I don't know who Valdez is, but he's a common. Kelly's Heroes. Now, this one, this has Clint Eastwood in it as well. It is beat to hell, the box. Look at that. Whoop, whoop. But I can fix that. So, for my Clint Eastwood collection, Murphy's War. Who's Murphy, though? Peter O'Toole. All right. Another war movie. Nevada Smith. That is... What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Steve McQueen. Oh, man. oh sweet. We got Indiana Jones. Of course I have this, but I might not have this version of it. As you can see up there, I want to turn the camera to the... Right up there is my... Um, on the top shelf, huh? You see the shelf there? Well, I don't know what I've got. Scoot over a little. Nope, the other way. Right there. Okay, you had it. Never mind. If you're watching the video, you saw the uh, Indiana Jones stuff. Don't worry about it. You're good. African Queen. I believe that takes place during wartime. Enemy at the Gates. Sweet movie. Got that one. <gasps> Perfect Storm. Ha-ha! Steph is always telling me, we should watch this movie. We should watch this movie. We should watch this movie. We should watch... I've never seen this movie, but big Marky Mark fan... Marky Mark movie. In fact, you know what? I gotta start collecting Marky Mark tapes. This is like my first Marky Mark tape that I have for the collection, so there you go. That'll be the cornerstone. Paul Newman, The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean. <laughs> for those of you who can't see my uh my uh my camera lady is starting to get tired. She was like, Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was gonna be this long of a flipping video. How long are we so far? Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes, Josh, Kaylin. You're lucky I like you guys. No one's going to watch this thing. Normally, I tap out at like six to eight minutes. Once you hit the 10-minute mark, people are like, boring. But this is for you guys. Look, more Indiana Jones. That's the full set right there. So I'll check it against what I have. Moby Dick, not a fan. No, no thanks. <laughs> Posse with Kirk Douglas and Bruce Dern. Oh, Western. Jewel of the Nile. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, this is Romancing the Stone. I don't know if I have this version, but uh, we'll check it out regardless. A Bridge Too Far. I mean, that is like, look at that cast. It's like all-star, 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 all-star. All right, we're getting near the end here. Oh, I absolutely love Once Upon a Time in the West. I have this version, but mine is completely faded out and a little ripped up, so... I take it. Replace my old crappy one. Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Josh said this is a good one, which means if I don't like this movie, I'm going to take this movie and smack him in the face with it the next time I see him. I'm serious. Right upside your big head. Oh, Apocalypse Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I have this version, but, you know, I'll check it out. I definitely got it. Uh-oh, we're at the end. We're at the end. What do we got here? Damn the Defiance. Woo! Alec Guinness, a.k.a. Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there you go. That's a... That's like a British Sea Navy, Navy one. Oh my goodness gracious me. It's a mad, 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 mad world. And this is a mad... Wait, no. <coughs> ah, I think it just spit dust in my mouth. Just a minute. Ah! Ah! <coughs> All right, this thing is, like, completely roached. Lucky for me, I've already got, um, you know, I've got this movie. Uh, but it's an excellent movie. And then, final bag, final bag, and then we're done. We got Bridge on the River Kwai. I have this movie, and my cover is better than this cover. You know, for uh, display purposes, you got to have sweet-looking covers. The Longest Day. Never seen this one. Um, wait, was that the... Uh, oh, that's a bridge too far. This one says... With 42 international stars. Wow. Uh, Robert Mitchum, Henry Fonda, Richard Burton, John Wayne, Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. That's some heavy hitters there, man. Sweet. I mean, this is going to keep me busy all summer watching movies. What's this one? The Nazi Strike. All right. So, uh, eh. Nazis. Screw Nazis, right? Oh, now this copy is Silverado. I have Silverado, but not one with a sweet cover like this. So, totally keeping that one. And then, last but certainly not least... The Enemy Below, Robert Mitchum. Uh, submarine War movie. So, real quick. Ah! <laughs> Tilt it down, my sister. War movies. Western. 
mob, combination of action, adventure, pool, hunting, a couple of comedies. Um, so, yeah. Josh, Caitlin, thank you very much. Adelaide, thank you very much. And uh, have an awesome Memorial Day weekend, people. Remember, be a decent human. The world's got enough dirtbags. Until the next time we jaw, peace out.